Welcome back guys, how are you all doing? My name is Marks and this is Daybound Season 2, Episode 50. So last episode we built this up behind us here and uh, this little one here which I've still not done the interior of. But if we um if we actually go inside we can see what we've done between episodes. So as I said I the purpose of these buildings is purely for storage for the wood farms. Again, it's it's nowhere near big enough up here to actually um, store everything I needed and for it to work properly. So this is what we've got. So we've got a bit of overspill for anything that may come up. I know stuff from there is going to come up, which is what the composters at the end here are for. They are purely for um thingy uh <laughs> leaves when i get there that's the leaves and not leaves yeah the, the roots from the from the mangrove farm um so that's purely what those three are going to be for honestly probably doesn't need to be that big but it is um and then we've just got like five hot Five or is it six? Six hoppers beforehand before it starts filtering in, just as like a backlog. Um, so it'll pick up there, and then it's got five hoppers to go through before it'll start filling up. Because I did run it with only two, I think it was that first one on the corner. Um, and yeah, it it backfilled to like yeah. Um because it wasn't it just wasn't picking them up that filled up and then that filled up and then yeah it just once it had gone past that one filling up it just ran all the way through so it was going into this this uh birch one and just yeah back filling down here so i added a few extensions in just so that hopefully won't happen because hoppers are nowhere near quick enough for um what they actually need to be which is kind of rubbish. I mean, I could use top of minecarts, I guess, but it's it's not going to work the same. I don't. I wouldn't think. Anyway, so that one there, and then we got the burn one over here. So I have actually um, run that for quite a bit already, but I already emptied a fair chunk out. Um, yeah. So three, just under three full ones were from what was down there already, and I ran it to like here somewhere um, and then used it to fill up the tree farm down below because I've increased the, the actual storage for the bow mill on this one because yeah um, I need a lot of spruce because we have a collaborative build coming up with everyone that we've been playing for a while and it used a ton of spruce uh, both the components and uh, actual logs so between us we've been collecting bits and bobs for this build for when we can get together and get sorted hopefully that'll be soon because it's going to be oh it's just going to finish off like the the connection between places so if you remember early on in the season we talked about um bridge from one side to the other to connect these two islands up to make it one entity so I wasn't cut off. And uh, now this stone pathway is something I've done a few weeks ago. Um, and it's literally just a foundation for the bridge. Um, in terms of the surface, obviously there's legs that go down into the water. And then uh, Raven sets or basically a checklist here with all the items we need and we just each spent a bit of time getting some of the things. So Raven got a bunch of stuff that's in here. Uh, she got absolute tons of it herself, actually. No. Um, diorite and the calcite from Swarmy. Uh, I turned the powder into concrete and got all the spruce, as I just mentioned. And then I already had the shroom lights. Um, they're just purely for lighting certain aspects up that they're hidden so they're not actually going to be shown we do need more candles um just because i didn't put them all down in the creative world it was more just a 
this will do for now. Now, with this having all the materials ready for building this bridge more or less, um, before we get to that point, because we've got to get everyone together to be able to do it, I think it's probably about time that I get a fair chunk more of my island done. Because I've got pretty much up to the white wall, white wall wall above my head here. Um, so that bit just there, pretty much up to there is planned out and done. So I think we should jump into a time lapse and at least get as much as we can do done. It's going to be a lot of work, but hopefully it's worth it. So let's crack on. Okay, so that's part one done and boy does it make a difference to how this place looks so there's still all the detailing and stuff to well i say the detail and just some like long grass and lichen just to light it up so we don't get mobs and things floating around but honestly it reduces it by a chunk anyway because water and they don't spawn in water so these are intended to be rice paddies if it wasn't obvious oh there's baby zombie somewhere um and there's still a bunch more stuff to do all around here like we've got all this all this area over here around here the sides and things but yeah like you come through and it just it doesn't look barren anymore it's it's got something here and oh high pressure plate and um it just adds so much to this place already. But that aside, um, it is October, so it's got to be down. Where is this baby zombie? Oh, he's there. Okay. Um, yeah, it's it's Halloween month at least, so it makes sense to do something Halloweeny, I guess. Um, now we're not doing like anything in particular special, but maybe we could dress up the mansion because there's nothing out front yet, so we could do something. But what could we do? We've got quite a bit of space from what I remember. Let's have a look. Yeah, so we've got all this space here. Yeah, we've got like, we've got up here, we've got all this front bit here oh, we could do something up there there is technically the roof as well hmm I wonder I wonder indeed what could we do did I see a hoodie oh look there's a hoodie I've got a few I mean obviously a pumpkin comes to mind Um, that's kind of like the first thing really think of what else could we do I'm gonna have to have a quick think and I guess we'll come back and see what we can do yeah <laughs> we'll uh, we'll come back and and see what ideas we've got as to what we can put together so I'll be back in a minute all right so I didn't actually come up with too much more than what I said before so, um, as I said, I'm thinking like a big pumpkin, not a huge one, but at least a big one, like against the partly done cliff just here. Maybe like a little pumpkin patch or something to the side of it. And um, definitely something up there just to dress the mansions, tad, and possibly like a dead tree or something over here, which is why we have the AK. So, this doesn't need to be put particularly grandiose it just needs to look a bit like a tree ish oh and i fell 
Okay, so this... This is going to be an awful trick. Ow. An awful, awful trick. Uh, let's just use the dirt to pull up. Okay, so... Tree tree. So we're going for a dead tree, nothing particularly fancy or overly attractive or anything like that. It's just really again. And because we're building on camera, there's gonna be a lot of mess up, which you know, standard. Okay, so Get a branch or something going off this way. The Minecraft weird bugginess that's happening at the minute. Okay. Get rid of this one. Let's get rid of that one. No, we meant to be here. It'll look more tree like when it's done, I promise. Maybe. Oh, not oh there. Yeah, maybe I need some of these connecting ones. Oh no, I'll have to decide later on this is going too close to that one. I've done exactly the same. What is wrong with me? Hello? There we go. Let's see. How's that looking so far? Really bad. Really, really bad. It needs the uh, one under here. Where'd it go? There. Needs that. Do like a little one from down here somewhere. Lots everywhere. Smidge better. That one needs to go, I think. It's kind of right, I suppose. Okay. Trees are hard, man. I don't. Honestly, like, don't get it. I'm gonna, um, uh, I think I'm gonna have to play around a bit with this and come back to you guys and see where we go because it's gonna take an awful lot of basically what we've just been doing building up, not liking it, knocking it down, doing it again, checking stuff and things. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that and come back once we is done. So, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so we're back. Uh, the tree is done. But I may have got a little bit carried away and done the derpiest pumpkin you'll ever see. Uh, with a bit of a pumpkin patch going on here, no idea why it's smoking. I don't know, Halloween. Sure, yeah, whatever. Uh, and then the mansions were in half. Because, yeah, apparently. Oh, I fell. <laughs> yeah, so the mansion is wearing a witch's hat. That was weird. 
Uh, if we can, so we can get a better look. There we go. So as you can see, even the mansion is in slight Halloween spirits. It kind of looks like a face. Like well, you know, we got two eyes there. There's the heart and a very wide grin that's slightly one-sided. I guess. Probably never going to unsee that now. So we've sort of Halloweenified the area. I mean, not much, but it's. I mean, at least it's not barren out here anymore, and the, and the mansion's not got a heart. We'll, we'll see how long these stay up. They may stay up for the season, it may change. That tree may actually get leafed up um, after Halloween and when I was done. I may come around and actually turn it into a crop tree because we did need some stuff out here. Um, it's not to say that this might not might stay, might not stay. It could become an actual proper garden or something like that. We have been meaning to do something around this area. Just it's getting around to it. And then obviously there's the, the path coming over this way um, that's going to lead up to that hole just there because on the other side, uh, as I mentioned earlier on, um, we've got all the bridge stuff. So just on this side is all, all the bridge stuff, so that needs doing as well. But from here, I think it's time to get on to the second part of sorting this guy out over here. Uh, still a bunch more work to do on the outside of the island, so all this needs changing, but we'll get to that at a separate occasion. And that is part 1.5 done, I guess. I can't really call it part 2 because these take a lot longer than, than I thought they would. Um, there's a bunch more coming around the side here and all over the place. There's like 70 plus trees in total. Um, but I, I was hoping to at least get this lower section done, but maybe not in this episode since it's already a little bit late and I'm still recording on the day it should come out. Um, so yeah, the, as it stands right now, this is where it's going to sit for at least a little bit and hopefully um, by next episode we'll have a good chunk more up there done. But it's not all we've got done. Uh, I did a bunch of camera of the land so all this now is pods all gradient in, into uh, the dirt at the edge of the cliffs and um, so that's all ready to be done with what it needs to be done and then while we've been building the trees we have been gradually converting the side over here um so you can't see it all that well it looks like it's dropping dark as well so let's get free cam so we've got some texture in up to roughly around here. Um, don't think it's all properly done, but we basically just got roots of dirt, um, of course dirt and normal dirt, just, just all around the, the edges and on top, obviously we've got the coarse dirt and normal dirt. And let's actually take a look at it from night, see how it looks with, at night with shades on. Can we make it? Can we make it? Not quite. But we're nearly there. Way up. Oh, there we go. You know what? That actually looks fantastic. I'm really liking how it's coming out. Is that over there? Oh, it's a little island. I might have to give it that little, little peek over there. 
just kind of ruins it a little bit. But that's going to be it for it today, guys. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.